Keep on Cooking with Nick Raybar is brought to you by Wines and More in Cranston, Rhode Island. Hey everybody, Nick Raybar here, and today we're making the ultimate summer dish, grilled fish tacos. Fish tacos have been done a million different ways over time. Today's version is gonna involve a lot of very fresh, vibrant ingredients. To start, we're gonna be using black bass. It's a common fish in Rhode Island and it's absolutely phenomenal for the marinade we're gonna put on it and it holds up really, really well for grilling. I'm gonna be making a moho marinade. So moho is a very fresh, vibrant sauce or marinade that consists of garlic, citrus, fresh herbs, and a little bit of jalapeno peppers. To make this moho, we're gonna need jalapenos, fresh orange, lime, garlic, cilantro, olive oil, sugar, and a pinch of salt. Put them in a blender and voila, we've got moho. All of these ingredients are gonna work absolutely perfect here. The citrus is gonna add so much acidity to this dish. You've got the sugar that's gonna add a touch of sweetness. Of course, the garlic and jalapeno, fresh, vibrant, beautiful, delicious flavors. Now we're gonna let this fish sit for about 15 minutes and we're gonna make this citrus salsa. So citrus salsa is not something you see every day. It's not the most common of the fruit salsas, but it is one of the most flavorful you can find. I'm gonna start by putting in some grapefruit. And then I'm gonna put in some orange. I'm gonna squeeze some fresh lime juice. Then we're gonna go in with a little bit of olive oil, just enough to coat it. And let's hit it with some ginger. Let's go in with some scallion, a little spice with some jalapeno. And then of course, some fresh cilantro. Now let's give that a stir and watch all those stunning ingredients come together. All right, so now that this fish is sat for about 15 minutes, we're gonna go right on the grill. So you have the skin side of the fish, and then you have the top of the fish that has the marinade on it. We're gonna go just like that with the skin side up. And we're gonna put it right over the charcoals, but not over the hottest part of the charcoals, just slightly over to the side. Otherwise, it might overcook on the outside before it's fully cooked on the inside. You want a lot of char, but not a crazy amount. And oh man, they look so good. Mission accomplished. Let's let them sit for a few. The smell of these fillets grilling are turning heads all over this place. Isn't that the guy from the road show? I don't think so. So let's get these out of there because they are absolutely perfectly cooked. These delicate little fillets. It's okay if they break up on you a little bit because it is a very fabulously flaky fish. This is a pretty important step. We're gonna go right on the grill with these white corn tortillas. A little less important for the charring, but definitely for the softening of the tortilla. Now that these are coming off, they're nice and pliable. They've steamed themselves well all the way through. Let's go ahead and build a taco. So as I said about this bass, it's very, very flaky, and that's exactly what you want in a fish taco. Just break off some beautiful chunks. They'll come right off the skin, and you can see inside stay nice and moist while the outside has that beautiful char on it. Now, over here I've got a quick little crema that I made. This crema is made of cream cheese, mayonnaise, chipotle, and lime. It's just a little something to add a little smokiness and a little creaminess to the dish. Then, besides the fish, the star of the show is this gorgeous citrus salsa, which again has the ginger, the lime, the jalapeno, everything great. I've got a little shredded cabbage, a couple of cilantro leaves, a touch of cotilla cheese, and of course, no tacos complete without one last little squeeze of some fresh lime. And that, gang, is what I call the ultimate grilled fish taco. And there you have it, gang. Grilled fish tacos done the simply Southern New England way. I'm your old pal, Nick Raybar. Thanks for watching, as always. And until we meet again, keep on cooking. Hello, I'm Crassie Lafour, and I'm the fine wine manager here at Wines and More in Cranston, Rhode Island. And I'm excited to introduce you to a great wine pairing for Chef Nick's fish tacos. I love his taco recipe. There is so much going on. In the sauce and in the salsa, there is a little bit of heat from the jalapeno and the chipotle peppers. 
and there is some sweetness and acidity from the orange and lime. With all that and the fact that summer is around the corner, my recommendation for Chef Nick's fish taco is Chateau de Jean Coury Rosé from the beautiful region of Languedoc in southern France. This dry rosé is made from Syrah, Grenache and Cinsaw grapes and has flavors of wild summer flowers, watermelon and peaches. Stop by and pick a bottle of this lovely rosé to try it for yourself. Cheers and we hope to see you soon here at Wines and More in Cranston, Rhode Island.